So this was a clever social engineering attack that was going around the UK. This, uh, I, I guess you have to ask how many people in your life would probably scan this QR code. <laughs> uh, so the, the scam goes like this. If your name is Emily and your boyfriend went out last night, he cheated. Here's the video for proof. Uh, and this looks like a handwritten poster. There's a QR code. And the promise is that there is, you know, some sort of, uh, salacious video here that's right. like evidence and everybody loves drama and they picked a very very common name Emily they probably mm -hmm. like pick one of the most common names in the country uh, so the idea here is you have a large net of people that feel personally addressed by this um, maybe there's some latent paranoia maybe they just want the tea but either way the drama of the situation uh, is something that causes people to be interested in doing something they normally might not do. Sure. So the, the thought that like, you know, you would maybe see this and think, huh, I want to know what's going on here. Uh, especially the fact that it tries to kind of look handwritten. It doesn't really like, I mean, at least to me, right. I think that there's a lot of people who would probably fall for this. And we've already covered a number of ways that QR codes can be malicious. Um, I think that in this case, it was just marketing. Uh, but it's still a way that I think as a hacker, I'm mentally filing away as something that I would probably use if I wanted to infect specific devices uh, as a way of getting people to scan QR codes that might be hiding information that you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't go to a link if you were able to actually see what it said.